The earth broke forth at the dawn of the seventh day of the twelfth moon of the year 2015. A new shaft of light descended on the Yoruba race, nay, on the human race. ancient stool of Odudua welcomed a new sun and a spiritual force or Nirisha, Babatunde Eniton, Adeyeye Ogunwusi or Jaja the second Arole Odudua as the 51st or Niovife. Tisho Bakweni Aki Peshe, the abode of the gods, temples across Ileife received total makeover and new coats of paint. Enua Palace, the seat of Odudua from the beginning of time, became an architectural masterpiece. A glistering edifice, rubbing shoulders with the most regal abode of kings on the globe. Worships and festivals, Long Moribond got a new bolt of frenzy. Three hundred and sixty four days out of the three hundred and sixty five days in the year, drums, gongs, and sonorous chants resound across the rolling hills of Ileife. They remain silent for only one day as commanded by Oludumari. They came, youths, widows, artisans, as individuals and in throngs. Or Nirisha, or Jaja II, has opened the floodgate for empowerment of the people of Ileife. Agriculture, skills acquisition, transportation, direct employment. The mission is to touch the lives of as many as possible. Or Nirisha, Babatunde Enito, Adeyeyi, Gungusi, is a divinely appointed chief engineer for Odudua, a monarch gifted with the power of innovation. Safeguarding the environment is a global mission. Jaja II motivated the design and fashioning of equipments and gadgets for cleaning up the environment. The world is in the midst of a plague unprecedented in human experience, the COVID-19 virus. Odudua's chief engineer rose to the occasion to save lives. Fumigation equipment was constructed from locally sourced materials and donated to states across the country in a grand gesture of redefining the monarchy. Moremi Ajasuru, the passion and fascination of Yonirisha to this quintessential African heroine knows no bounds. A monument, the second highest in Africa, sits majestically in the heart of Ileife, 
attracting tourists across the globe. A pageant to celebrate the beauty of Moremi was established by the House of Odudua. Every year, a Yoruba girl becomes Miss Moremi. We all work together as one. We can build the greatest kingdom the world will ever see. A world-class theatrical production titled Moremi with classical finesse, in lighting, sound, dance and costuming, leaves theatre aficionados speechless. The Onirisha as a town crier for peace and unity, has in the five-year timeline embarked on a new era of linking of hands across the thrones, seeking to weld the traditional institution into one big family. Words traveled across the world. The exodus started. Yoruba tribes across the world were in stampede to come home and witness the new wind of change from the throne of Odudua. People of all races thronged into Ileife and planted their feet on the soil of the source. Governments, corporate giants, ambassadors, industrialists, associations, celebrities, Endless delegations. The ancient Olojo festival, celebration of the first dawn in humanity, became a global spectacle, drawing all races across the globe, year in, year out. On this day, the Onirisha wears the first crown in creation, the Ari Crown. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 